Hello, Gemini. Amy Energy here with your weekly tarot message. If you have not, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so that you'll be notified whenever I make a new video. Definitely do not forget to hit the thumbs up button. It means the world to me. All right, Gemini. I'm going to be doing a rainbow spread for us this week. It is a spread that came with my new Pride Tarot. This is a collaborative deck, so we definitely have a lot of different artwork in here. Can't wait to jump into it with you guys. And this is the spread we'll be doing. So really excited to jump in. We'll clarify with the Rider Waite Smith deck and then we have the Rebel Oracle here. Another new deck that I just bought. It's really great. Gemini, I do have some high John incense, powder incense here burning for us. So that those are for good luck, protection, and prosperity. So love it. Keep in mind this reading may not resonate for every Gemini out there. So feel free to check out your other placements. I do these for all 12 zodiac signs. Okay, we have the Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck here. So, love this energy to start us off. Take a look here for our life. We have the Two of Wands. So, and what a beautiful Two of Wands that is. Really, really lovely here. Oh, I love it. This is so magical. This is, you know, definitely a space where we are wanting to take action here toward a new project, a new passion, a new inspiration here. However, we are still, you know, needing to put our intent, our, uh, our attention elsewhere as well. So we are clarifying it with the Queen of Wands in reverse. So I do feel like we may be, we may be struggling to, um, you know, we may be struggling to create or to do our magic, if we're a witch, if we do magic. We may be really strug struggling to tap into ourselves due to trauma with the Queen of Wands in reverse. You know, I do feel like there could be some trauma here that we are dealing with. And despite that, we're still trying to move forward. So it is creating some push and pull within us. Okay, Gemini, and we have the Seven of Cups coming out here in our healing energy. So I do feel like this is us. Oh, okay. This is us really being in our head, really being unsure of what to do, which way to go. And we have the King of Wands in reverse here. So this is a pair. And it doesn't have to be male, female. There's no specific gender for either of these cards. But the queen, queens are water energy. So with the queen, you have water and fire. Whereas the kings are fire energy. So with the king, you have fire and fire. So, um, but this is, this is a perfect match here. But they are, are both in reverse. So... I do feel here we may be healing from, you know, an unsatisfying experience here or an unsatisfying partnership. 
Now in our sunlight, we have strength coming out, Gemini. So I do feel like we are strong enough to overcome this. We really are navigating the situation with grace and that is a bright spot in our life right now. Yes, we're able to start new here with the fool. This is not an indication of foolishness at all. What this is is an indication that you're trusting and believing that everything that's happened to you had a purpose and served a purpose in your life. And so you are able to navigate this energy here with strength and grace and wow really lovely and this is changing your life for the better here this is a life changing this is two major arcana coming out here so definitely the the bright spot here in your reading is the fact that you are changing your life for the better now nature for nature we do have the king of cups coming out okay so this to me I really love this energy because I do feel like it is in this position really saying yeah get away from people here I really feel like this is a need to detach um, and it is this is a beautiful king of cups here and when I think of the king of cups I think of that um, energy of being able to you know, understand emotions, but also be able to take action in spite of them. You know, you're not going to let your emotions control you or, you know, cripple you. You're going to, you know, be able to detach from them in a certain sense. And, but with this card, there is this sense of, you know, being in the water and, you know, also there is a boat indicated on this card. So maybe this is, you know, just you really actually taking some time in nature, maybe near water. And really getting away from work and getting away from people. Because the people who you're working with are not making you feel good right now. They're really not. If this reading is resonating for you. It's your work in your work and the people you're working with is not it's not fulfilling. And so taking this time to yourself is really you know going to be really good and healthy for you to get out into nature and take some time away. Now serenity, we have the eight of cups coming out. So I do feel like there is a need here to absolutely detach and move on from a situation so here you just see somebody running away from their eight cups but what you're running towards is this new beginning you really want a life that is you know feeding you you want passion that you know, makes you excited to get up in the morning and you want that really passionate new beginning and you're, look at you running toward it here. Running. And there's a sense that we, we are leaving something behind here, but we are leaving it behind because we know that there's something better. Now our message from Spirit, we have the High Priestess. So we do know we know that there's something better and we're having faith in ourselves, and this is really beautiful more a major arcana coming out here we're truly evolving here and let's clarify this high priestess please spirit okay Oh yes, the Ten of Swords. So with the High Priestess, we are aligned, but there is certainly an awareness of, you know, this really nasty energy of betrayal. And, you know, this isn't just, it's not just betrayal. This is the culmination of a lot of things that we didn't deserve that happened to us. And... You know, we're really able to 
recognize this with the high priestess and there is a 10 so there is a sense of completion and you know the sun will rise on a new day and we know that here so the message from spirit is really just to stay stay aligned and and you know take this one day at a time all right so now we'll go ahead and get into the oracle here so for our life row we're pulling out have you eaten you are acting like a big ass baby you need food in your belly eat a fucking taco okay so definitely make sure that you are taking that time here gemini to care for yourself to you know eat because i know a lot of times gemini mercury placements we can get so caught up in our head um that we can even forget to eat so definitely make sure that you're not doing that definitely make sure that you are taking care of yourself okay because with the queen of wands especially in the reverse there is a sense that this is somebody who has been burned and and potentially this could be really traumatic i you know i'm not sure this is a general reading um so if you were in front of me and there was more of a dialogue i would definitely be digging into this queen of wands a little further with it coming up in reverse um but regardless of what level of trauma or you know, went on here, we need to make sure that we are taking care of ourselves. If you don't have your back, no, that you're, you got to have you. You got to have your own back here. Okay, so for healing, we have whatever you are thinking about, don't do it. Now is not the fucking time, okay? So if you're thinking about this, um, king of wands could you know no gender attached to this but this is a person who you know isn't first of all the king of wands is someone who doesn't really listen to the rules and in the upright it's not such a bad thing because they're they're living up to their own code of ethics and morals their own code but here with this king of wands in reverse i feel like this is someone who has really um, you know, has a really fucked up way of doing things and really is not ethical, but, you know, I'm still the king of wands and with you being, you know, in this energy of the king and the queen of wands, there's obviously still a connection here and it's hard for you. you I feel like with the seven of cups, we're really trying to think of any fucking excuse that we can for this person. Like, we're like, oh my gosh, well, maybe he did this because of this. Or maybe this is why he's acting. Stop that, Gemini. There's, you know what, why this person did this? They did this because that's who they are. All right? So whatever you're thinking about. Don't do it. Now is not the fucking time. I feel like we need to step away from this person, whoever it is. All right. So our sunlight. We have strength. We have the fool. So we're definitely just evolving here and taking that leap of faith, believing in ourselves. And we have believe what you see. Face reality or live in fucking la la land. Choose bravely. So, yes. Face reality or live in fucking la la land. Choose bravely. And I do feel like we are choosing bravely here. Or we need to. We need to choose to take this leap of faith. Um, we need to choose to make whatever choice is best for us because the strength card is all about our own ev ev evolution and our own confidence all right now jumping here into nature 
we have. Eat your fucking vegetables. Eat some shit made by Mother Nature. So, love that coming up in your nature um, portion here. So, I do feel like, you know, there is definitely a need here for us to be watching what we're eating. Um, you know, this is like, Two cards now coming up talking about food so I do feel like if this reading is resonating for you Gemini like you're not eating and when you are you're eating shit like you're like waiting till the last minute to eat and then going to fast foods cut that shit out you're, that's not that's not serving you okay get go to the store get some groceries and eat some shit made by mother nature all right, so now for serenity, we're abandoning something here with the Eight of Cups. Again, we want this new beginning with the Ace of Wands. It's it's totally ours. There's a lot of potential here. Um, but our message from Spirit is put the fucking phone down. Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. Okay, I don't even know why I'm showing you these. You can't even see them. Um, so, yes, I do feel like there really is a need here to, you know, we're in a situation that we need to detach from, and yeah, we'll keep this one. So here, for our spirit message, we have the High Priestess, we have the Ten of Swords, and then we have this card that just jumped out from Spirit. I almost didn't take it, but I'm like, yes, this is absolutely the card that you were meant to see. And it says, you are giving too many fucks. Give zero. Give zero fucks here, Gemini. Because whatever happened to you, you didn't deserve it, all right? And maybe you're a little bit overdramatic about it, maybe, because, you know, but... But that's not, I'm not saying that in a bad way. You know, there's a sense of overdramatics with the Ten of Swords because it doesn't take Ten of Swords to kill somebody. So, but the pain feels, the pain feels so intense. So you're responding to it appropriately. Um, but you are the high priestess here. So you do have an understanding and an alignment with spirit. And you really need to lean into that and give zero fucks, okay? I feel like we could be dealing with somebody here nasty. We could be dealing with a fire sign, but it could be any sign. It doesn't have to be a fire sign, but I do feel like they are sort of a fiery energy. Um, you know, with the King of Wands, this is an aggressive energy. And I feel like this is someone who, if they wanted to, they could definitely be a sly talker. They are intelligent and articulate and you know, coming up in the reverse, it's not a great energy. Really, really not. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it there, Gemini. If this reading resonated for you, please, please leave me a comment below. Like this video. Those things really mean the world to me. Please check out the description box below. Follow me on Instagram and check out my Etsy store if you would like to book a personal always happy to answer any of your lingering questions about this reading in the comment section below so feel free to let me know if you have any further questions or let me know what you think about this spread or any of the spreads that I've done if you are liking the new setup here let me know I would love to know all right Gemini I hope you have a wonderful week I love you take care